On Minibuzz today, we are talking about the consistent and correct use of condoms. The more we talk about these issues, the healthier the country is. Now, this is because there's an increased rate of infection in the country. The, the national infection rate is at 7.3%. Uh, 7 7 7 this increase in, in infection rates has brought us back to the conversation about condoms. Yes, so we need all our viewers safe and healthy. That is why Minibus is talking about these issues. Many people are not aware that these are proper and a consistent use of condoms required in order to remain healthy and to avoid the infection of sexually transmitted infections and HIV. Why is it important that people should know how to properly use a condom and how to consistently use one? Now on the topic you've put across, the biggest thing you've talked about is uh, HIV prevalence. But I will add on, there's a lot of unwanted pregnancies unplanned pregnancies that condoms can help avert. When we talk about consistent and correct use of condoms, a condom, like any other item, is supposed to be used in the way it was designed to be used. For example, a condom has two sides. One side is oiled, mm -hmm. or it has a lubrication. Mm -hmm. Another side is very dry. Mm -hmm. So in principle, the soft or the lubricated side is supposed to be on the outside, of the male organ and then the, 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 the dry side is supposed to be touching the body or, or the part of the male organ. Yeah. So if you don't use it that way and use it in, in, in the reverse, you're yeah. not using it right. Really. So the correct use is um, how we go by how the condom is supposed to be used by who manufactured it. The way someone tells you there's cooking oil, when you yeah. want to use cooking oil, for example, you don't add the cooking oil after. Yes, when or you it's time add water eat. and then you add the cooking oil. The first There's a the procedure. Cooking. Yes, a procedure. It's about uh, consistency. You know, I have I have colleagues who tell me, you know what, you know what, Ronald. Uh, whenever I use uh, a condom, it is very effective. The first round, the second round, it is effective. But the third round, when uh, by the time I put it on, I have lost it. I have lost it all. Mm -hmm. You know, I can no longer. Okay, it makes me lose mm -hmm. an erection. Then they simply have to jump in, either leave the condom, now, and you know, have it you, you unsafe, make, which is very bad. Your, your your story makes it sound like you know this thing is. A, you have to be like a, me a mechanic who's going to fix an engine. <laughs> yes. If you're going to have good sex, you have to plan for it. There are people even wear a condom like hours before. No, is that is that what you refer by planning? Is that what you refer, is that what you refer to as planning for sex? <laughs> Proper sex shouldn't be in a hurry. That's why people may end up wearing a condom the wrong way side. Yes. Do you have friends who consistently and correctly use condoms? Definitely. What is their perspective? I had a friend who had told me about such a thing. Yes. And the first thing he advised me, when tearing the other outlet there, you should be so careful. Because you never know either you have a tag or whatever, there are fingernails. That any time you may never know, it may prick the condom and then it exposes some weaknesses there. When it is tightly fixed, it also brings with the friction that you are using you'll find that definitely sometimes that's when condoms mm -hmm. pass. So who knows the proper way to use a condom? What is the proper way to use a condom? And what are the dangers of not well-kept condoms? Mm -hmm. uh, it's more in a man, because you basically have male condoms in the market. So if I'm the lady, and maybe I'm not feeling comfortable, or like I don't know how to use it, the guy should at least know. So I, I throw it back to the men, they should first tell us what they do, because that's where errors come from. Mm -hmm. I'll give an example, mm -hmm. apparently. Mm -hmm. uh, there is so much kind of swag of recent that you see people, someone is getting out his wallet, mm -hmm. and there are condoms there. You see them moving with a girl like in a supermarket, yeah? Someone buys condoms, he has so much money in the wallet, and then buys condoms, put them in the wallet. Before you know he's sitting on that, the, the condoms. Yeah, sitting on the wallet and uh, the condoms as well. Mm -hmm. So as Mr. Nyebi say that uh, the condoms have kind of lubrication. If that lubrication goes away, that condom will render useless. So even though you'll be using it consistently or correctly, uh, in between the act, uh, you'll end up with, uh, they call it a skirt. 
She asked a question which you are dodging. She yes, said, yes. She said, fact, you, she said, she said that the, yes, she yes. said the majority of condoms in the market today yeah, are suited yeah. for the male organ. Yes. And so she's like, you, if ladies don't know, the man must know. Mm. Exactly. I only request uh, that uh, the big man in front here, he seems this to one. be a very technical man. <laughs> yes. eh? this he one, should yes. actually yes. tell us the proper way of using a condom <laughs> so that some of us can be in position to advise the friends okay. I talked now about. Now you tell me the incorrect ways. Don't make common mistakes first if I go to this big man. Okay, I think let me tell you what I know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, which is okay. Very good. I'm talking out my mind. Yes. One, you have to, um, you know, uh, condoms have uh, incarcerated edges whereby you have to open it very carefully. When you say incarcerated, it is those dotted lines on yeah, the side of the packet. Those ones. Those, that those that ones. Yeah. It is yes. exact. Uh -huh. yes. Okay. So, so you tear it mm -hmm. very carefully. Like he said. Yes. After tearing it very carefully, uh, make sure, you know, on the, 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 the tip of the condom, there is uh, that kind of air space. But what if you're in a hurry and uh, you cannot... You don't have to be in a hurry. That's why our some, colleague some, talked some about it. Yeah. Hmm? Uh -huh. you know, you know. <laughs> cannot use D. Hey. You cannot use D. Uh -huh. eh? <laughs> no, there are some people, they can be impatient. Yes. Now, he's rushing. Mm. This may be mm. someone's daughter who has escaped from home. Mm -hmm. So he wants to have sex very fast. He goes home before the mother comes. So you have to be very fast. The other one just gets at... So biting is not the proper way to... No, it's okay. not. Okay, that's a hand, so you tear carefully. Uh -huh. yeah, you, you said to have your details <laughs> and facts. Experience. <laughs> no, but I'm married. I have my husband. But that's why you use her. Okay. But they tell him don't bite. Oh, be gentle. Be gentle. <laughs> so <laughs> not to rush. We are married. Yes. I'm yours forever. <laughs> you assume that people know how to use a condom. Indeed, when they don't know how to use a condom. I've seen situations where a man thinks when I add two condoms, one on top of the other, I'm more safe. But I thought it works. No. It's actually, you put <laughs> no. yourself at a bigger risk. If you're not going to use a condom consistently, it's like when it's raining and you don't want to get mud on your feet, so you put on shoes. Yes. But after some hours, you say, by the way, why don't I remove these shoes? Yes. And I walk in the mud. So the essence of you actually putting on shoes in the first time gets to be lost. So if you decide to use a condom, either to protect pregnancy or to prevent HIV and STI, please go that way. So read the data and make sure that the, the condom is still within its time of use. Two, the condom has pressure in its pack. Get the pack and squeeze it a bit like this. You feel like there is pressure, there is some air inside before you open it. Yeah. That is specifically put there to keep the condom safe. So make sure your condom, before you use it, is not flattened. It's, I mean, Usually the pack is flat, but when you press it, you there's, feel there's some a bit pressure. of a pressure. pressure. Then the third one comes in terms of confidence. Don't be in a rush. This is your life. Mm. I don't see why people should be in a rush for their lives. Right. Thank you very much. Well, right about now, we want to take, we pose the same question to Dr. Dipmala Mahla. Is that the mm. right? Yes. yes. <laughs> to, uh, oh, who is the country director of uh, Maristop. And this is actually what he had to say. So let's just take a look at what he had to say. Marisop Uganda is the leading sexual and reproductive health and family planning service provider in Uganda. We have been providing choices in reproductive health care in Uganda for 20 years now. We provide a range of services through various mediums. We have 15 static clinics in the country which provide not only sexual and reproductive health and family planning services but also general health and cervical cancer screening. We have 25 outreach teams, one doctor, two nurses, one counsellor in a 4x4 car with family planning commodities. They go to every part of the country and provide services 25 days in a month. We also have a network of private service providers under the Mari Stokes Uganda Blue Star Network. We have 400 providers under this network. Condoms, they are easy, they are safe and they do a good job. If used correctly and consistently, they prevent the users from HIV and other sexually transmitted infections. If used correctly and consistently, they prevent from unintended pregnancies. 
Please notice, I used correct and consistent twice. Because if we fail in either, the condom becomes less effective. If not used correctly and consistently, the prevention against HIV and sexually transmitted infection drops to 94%. And the prevention against unintended pregnancies drops to 98%. Using a condom correctly is very important. In every lifeguard condom pack, there's a detailed instructions there. It's pictures as well, which will explain very well how to use it. It's easy, everyone can do it. Consistency is again important every single time. If we miss one time, it's enough for an infection or it's enough for an unintended pregnancy. So all the effort which we've always used but we miss it once, our effort is lost. So if you have any questions and you're watching us at home, you have any questions, any remarks, any comments, or you want some more advice on this topic, remember you can call um, the Marie Stops helpline. It's a toll-free helpline. And that number is 0800 120 I'll repeat. 0800-120-333. You could also follow them on Facebook or follow them on Twitter. Their Twitter handle is at Marie Stops SCD. That's at Marie Stops SCD. Minibuzz, to get a call, we are talking about it. The correct and <coughs> consistent use of condoms. Now, let's be honest. Yes. How do communities or individuals that cannot afford the condom use the condom? If they can't afford it, okay. yeah, that's so uh, <coughs> is it so? Is it really the most affordable? Okay, uh, in some communities, you realize condoms are not affordable, um, most especially deep in the rural. But what you realize that um, even in uh, urban areas where people can afford, the usage is still low. Even when the usage is there, the consistency is not there. And uh, there is a statement she said: "Life is precious." precious. So let's not rush life. Intention is to preciously protect your life. Indeed, if you are interested in having sex, I, I don't think you can fail to get 500 shillings. Remember, a condom has three pieces, which are enough for you for a day, for example. The World Health Organization argues that it is logistically and ethically impossible to conduct a randomized controlled trial to find out whether condom use reduces the risk of HIV um, transmission. Mm -hmm. This is according to the World Health Organization. Yes. And then uh, Mary Stops Uganda's uh, con actually distribution increased from 7 million, this is in 1997, and uh, now to 18 million. million 18 million, yes. So, uh, and currently it is stand, it, uh, and uh, actually that is what, 60% yeah. uh, share of the, of, the, of, the of the market. Of the market. Mm, yeah. Yes. So, uh, we, we are standing right now with 179 million condoms distributed in Uganda. How is it that communities still do not know how to use condoms, condoms correctly and consistently? What are the factors that Some are limiting this? believe of not using condoms. Some of them say when you use a condom, you're not having sex, you don't enjoy sex. When you're having a condom, most people still have the belief that condoms are to be used on the people who are sending themselves. Maybe someone you have not, you don't know, someone you have just met, someone you have... What the other the thing? ...from the street. They, they still don't believe that, like my colleague here said, that when even you're in your family, you can use a condom and it is okay because it is protecting you. I'm, I'm coming Enough to you. What, what do your friends say when uh, for not using condoms? What excuses do they give you? One thing is they say, Normally, chewing a sweet with its cover, <laughs> you understand? Okay. Uh, no. It doesn't feel, it doesn't feel good. <laughs> I, 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 I wanted to react on this. Eh? Yeah. I wanted to uh, point Very quickly, out two aspects. We want to come to this question. Yeah, two aspects. Cultural aspects and religious aspects. There are some cultures completely, uh, they, they, they forbid condom. They forbid condom use. Then uh, some religious uh, aspects. Now like the Catholics. Is it right that if we women ourselves try to demand for the use of condom for the men, then we will actually be helping the men and will be helping uh, the situation of consistency with the men and uh, helping them with unwanted pregnancies? If you as a woman can say, uh -uh, without a condom, I will not. Do you think it's a way forward? Let's hear from the ladies. We'll start, more? We'll start, we'll start with, yes. If we change the situation, 
Because when you, you hear the stories right from the beginning, people are rushing to put on a condom because they think a woman is going to change her mind. Yeah. People are not, I mean, yeah. they're in a rush all the time because they have a, that natural fear, my partner is going to change the mind. Yeah. So if it comes from the partner and the partner now says, you have to do it. This man will gain the confidence and the trust that now I need to do it rightly because my partner without it, however much I rush, nothing is going to happen. So if we start from that side, it creates a lot of um, acceptance, a lot of compliance. So right now it's a bit challenging. Sometimes when a woman demands for a condom, oh, everyone looks very yes. confused. This question I'm asking the lady strictly for mm. now. So what should we do to ensure that there is correct and consistent use of condoms? Ladies. My husband has to be patient. He should not rush. He should take your time. The condom will take your time. Don't pamper like now. You have to have it. No. It is very important that as women should stand up and start demanding men to protect us. Protect us. But we have to feel My view is uh, uh, using a condom, I believe we um, should first discuss about it between you two. Yeah? Let yeah. the partner know that you know what you have to use a condom. Either in marriage or like if you just met someone. That's why I have condom. Always. So, I buy myself. That's why I'm crying for the price, too expensive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I always have condom. Even if you go in my wardrobe now, you get a box of condom. The right. condom has broken. I don't know the man. What, what are you doing with a man that you don't know? Okay. I know. Yes. Okay. Okay. It happened in a club. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what what do you do when the condom breaks? Okay. Uh, there are two issues. We need to understand um, the condom is dual. If uh, your fear is pregnancy, number one, you need to take emergency contraceptives, okay? To make sure that uh, you don't get those unnecessary uh, unplanned pregnancies. Okay. If it's for HIV, uh, I don't know, sometimes it might be unfortunate that you've picked it up. All we tell you is please rush to a medical or place or a clinic or a facility. There's what we call uh, PEP. That is the dosage you can take of ARVs to do what we call preventive. Yes. It's like when someone has been raped. We advise that you go, they give you a, a dosage of ARVs which prevent you from acquiring the, 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 the virus. We put this question to some of you on the street and you very gladly gave us your answers. This is what we're able to get. Obviously, yourself about your life. Yeah, you avoid so many diseases like STD. You find that when you use it consistently, meaning that you will be protected. Using a condom consistently would help you to be assured of your future. I think it's better for people to just abstain. Those condoms are just 99%. So, who is the 1%? We are not really so sure about that. Hey!